What's up, PB Poppers? Jordy Pop83 here with my very first YouTube video in a long time. I know you guys miss me. Don't go crazy. I'm back, ready for action, and we're going to dive in deep with an amazing, amazing Pokemon for uh, Go Battle League, Great League. This champion is El Campeon Verde, the green champion. Just an amazing, amazing champion, in especially in the uh, in the back, like as like a, a secret little little bomb explosion that you just unleash on damn near everything, and it has some surprising use cases too, especially because of the part poison typing. Um, you're going to be resisting stuff, and we're going to get into its resistance in, in its resistances, but you're going to be resisting stuff like fighting and um, and uh, fairy. And those resistances will actually come into play and allow you to counter things that you did not even think that you'd be able to counter. I mean, how's this for one? Melmetal. Did you, could you even think that a Melmetal could be countered by a grass type? I mean, come on. So we got a uh, Shadow Victory Bell on the burner today. We're going to do it by the numbers style. And uh, you guys know the drill. Um, I have been crazy crazy life lately uh, i'm sure you guys know with all your quarantine stuff and all that stuff so uh it's just finally getting settled down for old jordy pop here we're moving into a new place in a uh, week or two and um yeah everything's going nice and, and and good now so shadow victory bell by the numbers let's dive in deep we're going to go into resistances we're going to go into strengths we're going to go into the winds and then we have a couple battles at the end and uh, just so you know, uh, I have timestamps down in the description below if you want to skip to any section uh, that you want. So let's get right into it. Resistances. From the grass side, uh, you're going to be weak to bug, fire, flying, ice, and poison. And you're going to be resisting electric, grass, ground, and water. And the reason I do break up the resistances like this is so that you can see where the final resistances come from. I think it's really helpful to know your base resistances, resistances, uh, your you know like your your single type resistances, so that you can uh, deduce what a dual type will be, in case you don't actually know that particular typing, right? So say something like a um, I don't know, I can't think of one right now, but uh, I guess Skarmory is one was the one I was thinking of. Uh, since it is uh, flying steel, it's double weak, double resisting ground moves because of the flying, but it's single weak to the um, ground moves because of the steel type. So that leaves you with a single resistance, right? So knowing those two single typings allows you to figure out what you're, you know, what you're going to be dealing with. So, anyways. Grass type, they're going to be weak to, like I said, bug, fire, flying, ice, and poison. Resisting electric, resisting grass, ground, and water. So that helps you out, you know, if you're uh, against your Alolan Raichus, against other grass types, against Azu and the water types. Um, and then on your poison side, right? Your poison side is going to uh, have a, a weakness to ground and psychic and a resistance to bug, fairy, fighting, grass, and poison. So as you can see there, right, um, your your weakness for ground and, and your resistance for ground, those are gonna cancel out. So now you're gonna be neutral to ground. Um, you're gonna maintain your, your resistance to electric and uh, you're gonna be double resisting grass right so these are the things and, and i'm going to bring in the card in a second here but these are things where you can kind of see where the final resistances and weaknesses uh come from and come out of so um this is another thing that you can pay attention to is because of the poison typing you are resisting fighting and um and you're going to be double resisting grass so you can very easily go up against a shift tree, go up against other grass types, um, but not other grass poison types, right? Because they're also gonna be resisting grass moves, right? So um, it's really, it comes in really handy, especially when you go up against a monotype like a Meganium, 
and you're throwing out grass moves and you're double resisting and they're single resisting, that's basically like being uh, super effective against them. Okay, so your double resistances now with the grass poison type, um, you're gonna be having a weakness to fire, flying, ice, and psychic. So the weakness from psychic is being carried over from poison and then your fire, flying, and ice weaknesses are being carried over from grass. The bug weakness gets canceled out. Ground weakness gets canceled out. And, um, and so you're left with a double resistance to grass and a single resistance to fairy, electric, fighting, and water. That's awesome. So as far as fairy and water goes, that obviously as you, right? Especially because um, it's weak to grass on top of all that. So not only is it weak to it, but you're resisting it. That's awesome. That's a whole lot of love right there, right? Um, and yeah, you're double resistant to grass. So you're gonna be doing a lot of great work across the board. Uh, the things that you gotta be worried about, right, are your flyers and your fires, uh, ice and psychic, right? Psychic uh, is it's very easy to forget about, but, but because you're part poison, people can outsmart you, I guess, or, or be too smart to drink your poison, I guess is the thing. I don't, I don't, I like to uh, try to come up with different reasons why things are the way they are in this game to kind of help me remember things. But uh, hope you guys are liking the new look. I, I spent a lot of time making this thing look real nice here. So Shadow Victory Belt with the, um, with the Shadow Buff and Debuff, you're going to end up with 164.2 attack, which is insane. 77 defense and 129 stamina uh that gives you plenty of stamina plenty of health to do some good work and to actually stay around for long enough to put in some good damage uh with that grass oh man with that grass type um you are going to be uh strong against um water ground right uh and rock and then you're not going to be very effective against bug dragon fire flying grass poison and steel grass type attacks are one of the most heavily resisted attacks in the game um it's it's one of the main reasons why people weren't super stoked on the bullet seed um shift tree uh they were like, well, what's the point, man? This shit's going to be resisted by a whole lot of stuff while that snarl is is pretty much neutral across the board, right? So um, that's the thing is grass is very heavily resisted, but what it does, it does amazing. And on top of it being resisted, it has a lot of resistances, right? So... Victor, Shadow Victory Bell is definitely not going to be do, not going to be able to do everything, but it will be able to do a lot of things really well. Um, as you're going to be able to see um, in these upcoming battles here, it just does so much great work across the board that it's amazing, right? And as you can see here, you got your Razor Leaf, right? With the uh, boost, with the 20% uh, boost, you're going to end up doing 13.2 damage per two turns, so 6.6 .6 DP, uh, DPT, and then Leaf Blade is gonna be a 2.4, so 84, uh, 84 damage per 35 energy, that's insane. Uh, and then you got your little acid spray down there. I didn't I didn't bother um, buffing that or, or playing with those numbers because we all know that that's not what it's there for. It's definitely not there for the damage, right? It's there for a good time. It's there to throw down, throw, throw good and have fun. You know what I'm saying? Acid spray is there for a good time. And you're going to see, um, I, I uh, went through the trouble of actually making, uh, updating the, the slides so you can see the, the effect that an acid spray has on a battle. All right, let's get into the wins here and what we win. Now, I know that's a lot, right? That's a lot of wins. Uh, it wins, I think, almost 70%, 65% of the Open Great League concentrated meta. It is an absolute beast. And as you can see here, of course, you're going to see some of the main the main players that you would really assume to see here, your water types and your ground types. But check that out. Uh, Galvantula, 
740, you beat a bug, right? You're beating bugs. You're beating um, uh, uh, Haunter and Medicham and Fighters and Fairies and uh, Melmetal because of its move sets, right? You're resisting the actual moves that it has. Um, Frostlass, right? And Ice type, you would think for sure you're going down to that. Nope, it's super squishy. Uh, Vigoroth, um, Umbreon. Provo Pass. Now, it is a super close match, but you're going to beat it. You're going to win that one, right? Uh, Scrafty, like literally, like, so you have, you have something that can beat most fighters. So it's kind of like a fairy, right? But it can beat your waters and your grounds. So like a grass, but then it can also beat some electrics like a ground type. It can beat uh, dark and and uh and ghost types like a dark type right i mean it's pretty amazing the wide swath of pokemon that you are knocking out and destroying right really amazing so let's just go through the list you got swampert uh stunfisk wish cash and um and lantern all in the 900s you got azu um Alolan Raichu in the 800s, and then you have Deoxys Defense, Galvantula, Mew, uh, Sableye, Medicham, Haunter, Clefairy, uh, Toxicroak, Scrafty, Frostlass, Dugong. I mean, it is amazing the amount of just the what. It's not even like you're attacking a type, you're literally attacking an entire situation, right? It's really incredible. Uh, Mel Metal, and then the Thick Boy himself, Umbreon, also uh, Vigoroth, and Prolopass. Really just an amazing, amazing set of wins here. And like I said, I mean, you're beating so many things. Uh, even Ice types, right? Um, that, that Lapras has Ice Shard, and somehow you're coming out away with it. Um, it's just it. It's just so OP. I'm actually thinking about doing uh, one of my next ones on on Shadow Gardevoir because that's another one where it's like, what? And I, I've been uh, winning all these wins without Leaf Blade. I'm just running straight um, straight Acid Spray and, and Razor Leaf. And as you can, you're gonna see here, you actually never ever wanna throw a Leaf Blade um, at your initial fight. That's something that you want to save for the end and um, when no shields are on the, on the table. I would really never, ever use a Leaf Blade. I would, it would literally have to be no shields on the table, um, you know, the end of the fight, and, 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 and you're throwing that instead of the Acid Spray, you know? Because, man, I love Acid Spray so much. But speaking of Acid Spray, right, what... Do we win? Does it do we win harder with acid spray? What 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 does acid spray get us, right? And here's the thing: acid spray will pick you up, and this is on the the initial uh, the initial line, right? Will pick you up your Bastiodon and your uh, Mantine um, matches. Again, I don't think besides those two you should not be throwing anything but razor leaf at your initial fight and you should be saving your charge move for your end fight for, for the you know for the pokemon that gets switched into you um that's really how i've been running it um uh, kind of in the back type thing not as a safe switch literally in the back um unless your opponent gets locked in you know, on the first switch on the lead, and he switches out and switches into something else, then you can switch in your um, your uh, razor, lead, your 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 victory belt. But um, yeah, I like to keep it in the back so that I can line it up properly. Because you don't want to get him misaligned, man. You get him misaligned, you're F A for sure. So let's take a look at the multi battles now, and kind of take a look at you know what we're getting into, right? So with just just razor lead. <laughs> Literally, just Razor Leaf, you go 23, 15, and 0. That's a 65% win rate, just Razor Leaf. Add Acid Spray, and like I said, you do pick up the, um, the, uh, 
Mantine and Bastiodon matches. And then you can see here, if you add Leaf Blade, you actually lose a ton of matches, like five of them. The, what's going on here is that you're throwing Leaf Blade in their shielding, and instead of taking the damage from a uh, from a Razor Leaf, rather, um, you're actually only doing one damage and getting a shield. And uh, that's not what you want to do. What you want to do is you want to hold on to that Leaf Blade or that Acid Spray for the next Pokemon that comes in. And that's where you're going to be able to do your real damage, your real work, right? Because that way you can take out a whole Pokemon and then take a shield, right? And then you're still going to be alive for the most part and have more damage to do. Um, so it's very crucial that you do not throw anything at what you're fighting initially. Always farm down and then um, throw your charge move at the next Pokemon, unless it's at the end of the match and there's no shield on the table and you got that Leaf Blade and that's going to be the end of the game if you throw the Leaf Blade. You know what I mean? That's that's where that would come in handy. Um, but me personally, I am a freak for Acid Spray. Just a straight freak for it. Any of these uh, buff moves, I, I like to, uh, to risk the biscuit on. You know, your Ancient Power. Even now with the Ancient Power, they're not being that great. I still love Ancient Power. So um, let's talk about my team comp and what I decided to pair with Victory Bell. Um, so I've been seeing a lot of grass and uh, steel leads, right? And then also uh, fairy types. And so I decided to go ahead and run um, a fire type. And I started with cast form, but I ended up with a low and Marowak for the coverage. And then uh, you need something to take care of the fire types, right? You need something to take care of just to have a nice safe switch and is the only thing that can be an Altaria on my team. So I bring in Wish Cash. Okay, let's get to the battles finally. All right, so we got Alolan Marowak into Medicham. He's going to have to switch out immediately, which he does. And in comes Bastiodon. Now, Bastiodon is... Uh, going to be doing super effective damage with his rock type damage but we do have bone club so we can do chunks but we decide you know what we're going to save uh that that Mar uh the marowak for the medicham because you know that's a good matchup and we already have this amazing matchup here with the wish cash which is a better matchup wish cash versus uh bastidon because like you can see instead of taking super effective we're taking not very effective across the board and we're throwing a uh, double double strong uh, ground moves at it. In comes Vile Plume, and we are able to do something amazing here. Throw a Blizzard last chance, and he does not shield. Insane. In comes um, Medicham, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna be doing just a little chunk damage there, just throwing off this uh, Mud Bomb, and the opponent says, ah, and he decides to quit. <laughs> you guys don't quit your games. Um, even if you're losing or you know you're going to lose, play it out and you can learn something. Okay, Alolan Marowak into Azu. Damn, lost the lead, right? So we switch into our uh, Wish Cash, he switches into a Skarmory and you think, damn, this guy is good. No, no, no. We're going to throw this Blizz Blizz. You know, Blizz out, Blizz up, Blizz out. Oh yeah, half your health is gone. We're going to go ahead and shield once here. Uh, in comes a Sky Attack. And we're going to avoid that 62 damage. Farm up again to another Blizz. Throw the Mud Bomb. Ah, but he gets to his Sky Attack first. What a bummer. So we decide to shield. Oh, no, we don't decide to shield. We decide to let that go on through. Throw the Mud Bomb, hoping to grab a shield. Did we get it? We do not. Now we're pissed. And now we decide to throw the Mud Bomb again just to finish off this POS and <laughs> to get him out of here. Now we decide to switch immediately into a lower Marowak, taking down that one slice. That was a very dicey choice. Um, in comes a Hydro Pump. We decide, to, oh no, 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 we decide, you know what, we're gonna risk it, and it's only an Ice Beam, and we're so satisfied. Now, in comes, uh, now we go with the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball doing a huge chunk again there. Now he's 68 damage. Um, we decide not to shield here. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and let Marrow through, let Marrow out. Now we're gonna come in, bring in our Amazing Shadow Victory Bell doing 18 damage per Razor Leaf, takes him down, in comes a Wish Cash, chunk, 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 and he quits. That is a very weird place to quit, folks. Don't quit when you're just about to die. Anyways, all right, so 
next round is against a uh, trainer that I am almost uh, best friends with, 033 Godzilla. A really, really nice trainer. I think he's out of uh, Ventura. Okay. Um, so we got our Alolan Marowak into um, into Alolan Raichu, and you think, oh, well, this is good. We're good. We, got a, we won the lead. We're good. Right? He's throwing, he's throwing. We go, nah, we're not gonna. Thunder Punch, nice chunk. Oh, that's the wrong, that's okay. Um, and then we decide to throw a Bone Claw, but he switches out too quick and into an Azumarill. All right, now we got our Victory Bell right away. Chunking hard, hardly chunking. We're gonna shield this Ice Beam here. And as you can see, that Ice Beam is the only move that's super effective against uh, Richie Bell. We're gonna go ahead and Acid Spray now on this Skarmory. And as you can see here, uh, our damage does go up as his defense goes down. And so uh, we go down, but we did get a, a um, Acid Spray off. So as you can see now, um, this Wish Cash is actually doing a lot more damage uh, per per move because of the debuff. And then we're able to get uh, a Lone Raichu in there and and everything just starts falling apart real quick. <laughs> now we forgot that he had... Oh, so he has Thunder Punch and Wild Charge. That's interesting. Uh, All right, so he hit me again with the wild charge. Down he goes, and then we're going to try to hit this blizzard. Oh, no. Uh, he still has a shield. Yeah, so I had to throw the mud bomb, and I was hoping that I had enough for the blizzard, but I did not. And down we go. All right, that was a good round. That was a good round. I still don't know where I could have done differently to make that work, but that's okay. All right, this is the last round, and this round is the best round I've ever played in my life. All right, we got a Lola Marowak into uh, Altaria. This is a bad lead for us, so we had to switch out immediately into Marowak, right? We did farm up a couple bits on the uh, Marowak. Now we have Wish Cash in here, and uh, he's gonna throw his Sky Attack, and we're gonna shield. Now, I know for a fact, I have to have this Wish Cash on that Altaria in the end, or we're gonna lose this battle, right? So I know that I have to continually maintain extra energy on top because I wanna leave this battle with a blizzard in hand, right? We're gonna throw one more mud bomb here. We're trying to wait out the switch clock so he's gonna switch as soon as possible. Now, we're gonna farm, 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 trying to switch, trying to switch, damn it. Ugh, okay, so now we got the shield one more time. Now we're down two shields, to uh, zero to two shields, right? So we bring in our victory bell. Victory bell goes ahead and takes down Azu as quick as possible. Now, in comes Bastidon, right? And Bastidon is a bitch. So we're gonna acid spray his ass, okay? Acid spray. Take him down, acid spray, great. Now, he's gonna throw his uh, stone edge, or flamethrower rather, that's gonna kill us. Now, he's got one shield left, I've got an Azu. I gotta get rid of this shield and get rid of this Bastidon before Altaria comes back in, okay? Bone Club, no more shield. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And did you notice, I, 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 I knew that that Bone Club wouldn't have been enough at that point. So I did two more, um, two more fire spins so that I knew that I'd get him under Bone Club range. And then as soon as he switched right into the Wish Cash, Blizzard, done deal. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on uh, Shadow Victory Bell by the numbers. I really appreciate you guys for hanging out today. I'm gonna get way, way more into YouTube now. I This has definitely refreshed my, my vigor one to get back into this stuff. So I really appreciate you guys. Hit that like, comment, subscribe, share. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one.